Hey, I'm Salman. And I'm Joanne. And this is Fart Face. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Ever Never TV. So thanks to you guys, it's been a huge week for the Ever Never Army. First of all, we came second in the Goodreads Choice Competition, which is insane because there were tons of books, uh, obviously, that came out. And Dougie's getting to kill me, so I'm going to let him go. Oh, to come in second and beat all these huge bestsellers was due entirely thanks to readers like you. You told your friends, you told your parents, and we had almost 11,000 votes. Even with the second book, I think we had like 5,000. So to double it in a little less than a year is all thanks to you guys. And as proof of the fact that the army is spreading, an article just came out in uh, Publishers Weekly that uh, explains sort of why School for Good and Evil uh, has been selling so well lately. Lots of kids are coming in to ask for the School for Good and Evil books by Soman Chainani because they say their friends are talking about them in school. It's really been a word of mouth seller. So keep talking about it. Keep talking. About <laughs> keep talking. It. <laughs> I will come to your school if you keep talking about it at your school. So next up on our agenda is announcing the winner of the six word novel competition. Who do you have as your first runner up? First runner up is Evercandy555 who wrote, Sophie finally accepts Hort's marriage proposal. Oh, that's so sweet. I know, it is a full story too. Next runner up is Wolf Howell who wrote, Hester becomes Anna Dale's henchman, surprises both. Mm. That I can see happening. Mm -hmm. Next person is Fluffy Penguins, who summarized the last ever after probably perfectly, I mm. think. Uh, she wrote, evil without good leads to chaos. That's really good. That's really smart. I should have used that as like the tagline for the book. Yeah. And now we're at our big winner, mm -hmm. and it is... Rebecca Elizabeth. Carriage missing. Camelot's rulers never arrived. That's the best thing mm -hmm. ever. That is an entire novel. Right? In yeah. one sentence. Exactly. She nailed it. Yeah. Completely nailed it. I wonder if we can work that into the handbook somehow. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Speaking of the handbook, uh, you've seen some of the finished art. Mm -hmm. It's unbelievable. It's incredible. And in this week's blog, I posted a little snippet from one of uh, Michael Blank's amazing drawings. And I have to say, I think there's like 40 or 50 comments right now on all of you guessing where that little puzzle piece is from. You're all wrong. <laughs> Really? There's not, not one person who's guessed it right. So try again and tell us where you think the little puzzle piece in my week uh, weekly blog is from. And I'll tell you on next week's I'm Never TV. So for the last part of the episode, uh, last week Soman met the main trio from the books and now he gets a chance to meet the coven and interview them. Sounds good. All right, bring them on. 